Hello guys and welcome to my newest video here. In this video I am going over something really important, really sweet, and it is absolutely amazing. I am really impressed by it so far. Well, so, as of right now, I've had so many problems with Windows 8. I was on uh, Windows 8.1, uh, what was it, Enterprise, and... I could not seem to stop the window, all the crashes I was getting. Like, I kept running into errors like system service exception. I was getting, um, let's see, um, system thread exception not handled. I was hitting that and everything like that. Just random, stupid, just stupid errors. I hated it. And it was about time that, um, I decided to go on to a little website and I ended up getting Windows 10 so as you can see I'll see like the recycling bin it's more boxy I noticed everything is more you know they have an action center right down here you know you can turn on notification or off or quiet hours your volume pops up differently you got it from the side here it's kind of neat so I just heard that little bling sound and then you're like network and everything. I see everything still pops up the same, but notice that everything's more square now. Now, kind of like how Windows 8 was, but see the X, the minimizer in the full window, it's more, you know, set up a little nicer. You click on everything here. It just, it's really cool. I would go to the lock screen right now, but I'm pretty sure my thing would stop recording. So, you know, I won't, don't want to do that, but. Open up, you know, okay, open up the file system here. You notice that everything pops up a little box here. I downloaded some movies, you know, stuff like that. But you go to, like, let's see here, like the PC. You notice everything is changing. Everything's more boxed out here. The hard drives look way nicer, which I think the hard drives look really nice. Looks really sweet. When you go to close that out, when you go down to the Windows Home button here, it doesn't actually go to a home screen anymore. So if I'm going to hit the Windows key right now, it opens that up, and that's it. So I'll do it one more time. Boom, just like that. And I can click on my profile here, like change account settings. It can take you, you know, load up my thing here. Here's my little picture I have set as. And then it's pretty cool. You got it's still your sign-in options. You could set, put your PIN as your passcode, which is really nice. Everyone, everything's starting to go to that now. And overall, this is a pretty good build. Uh, here, I'll do this quick. The, they have this instead of Internet Explorer now, it's called Microsoft Edge. And I didn't choose to use this as my default browser because I hate Microsoft stupid Internet Explorer bullshit. So I just minimize, close that shit out of here. What I use is go to Firefox, you know. I click on Firefox, it loads up. Looks really nice. Everything loads up quick. Also because I have fast internet. But other than that, it loads up really fast. Everything's pretty convenient so far. Um, Let's see here. I'll go to uh, my settings here. I'll go to About. This is the current settings right now. I My computer needs to restart. It's going to change my stuff. But it says that Windows 10 Enterprise is the addition. So Windows 10 Enterprise. You know, it's pretty well. This is not a touch screen. And I don't give a fuck about a stupid touch screen. Because really, I don't care for tablets or anything. Unless, you know, I get a Windows Surface tab. Then, you know, it'll be okay. But I'm on current desktop right now where I don't need to use that functionality so it just I don't give a crap about it let's see right here system information it's showing that Windows is activated you got your product ID um, the computer name everything like that my available RAM 24 gigs and it says a 4 gigahertz an 8 core processor of AMD what I'm running and Windows 10 right there enterprise currently everything is seeming to run really well right now I got Norton 360 up on here, and also have uh, I had a malware bytes. It wasn't open right now, but I have malware bytes on here. So th 
That's been running pretty well, but it's been starting to freaking cancel out my stupid anything I try to download, so it's kind of really dumb, but I recommend you guys either do or do not get that shit if you want to deal with that, but, um, other than that, Windows 10, I think, you know, is going to make an awesome debut on the 29th of July here, and so far, I'm looking to stick with it, and it's seeming to be really nice, you know, just your whole setup here is just really sweet when you click on your settings tab it just opens in a convenient selection of like what you're looking for like oh you need to go to system right okay it takes you to your system stuff devices you got your bluetooth your whatever else printed scanner yeah. go to your network and internet you got that brings up your internet stuff you got ethernet your dial up vpn whatever you're using here personalization you can choose your background see this is pretty cool and see I have that as my background right now lock screen and go choose a different image that you want and then loads up really convenient and sweet everything I just really like it so I hope you guys enjoy this you know I thought you guys hope I hope you enjoyed that it was a nice video of showing just Windows 10 if you guys want more about it or want to know more just uh, comment in my video and ask more questions I'll be sure to get back to you and let you know about anything um, just you know if I run into any bugs I'll show you guys but if not if everything's running completely smooth then yeah I have no problems but other than that I thank you guys for checking this video out and Recommending you to upgrade to Windows 10 if you think it's going to be great. Windows 8 was just a piece of shit, complete, you know, software, but this will be amazing. So I recommend, you know, you guys probably check it out. So, alright, thank you guys for watching. See you later.